Hey, it's Doran with Tactical Hive. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about uh, buckshot patterns and how far out can they be effective. Honestly, I don't know the answer. So we're gonna find out and make a video in the process. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, so today's video, like I said, it's all about science. All right, we've got a uh, pretty standard shotgun. This is an 870. It's got the, uh, the standard 18, slightly north of 18 inch barrel. Nothing fancy to it. I sent it away and had the uh, Wilson Combat uh, sights put on it. But other than that, it's pretty much standard, guys. It's pistol grip. The rail assembly is made by Surefire, so is the flashlight. And uh, But today, it's all about buckshot. I've, I've only... I've seen shotguns used as primary weapons a little bit, especially early on in my career. They were more common even before that. But I mean, how far out can we expect to be able to hit a target using standard two, three quarter load, nine pellet buckshot out of a pretty much plain Jane standard shotgun? So we're gonna start at 25 yards because obviously, you know, 25 yards and then you're good to go. And we're just gonna back it up and see, you know, putting this thing to the test just how how good she does. So let's get started. All right, guys, so getting started. Um, yeah, I have used shotguns, you know, previously at my last job, but they were tools for breaching, depending on the environment, the mission set, you know, where we were, time and place. That would depend on what type of rounds I would use, but generally we ran ceramic hat and slugs, which are designed to break up, you know, they're just for defeating locks, door jams, etc. Sometimes I'd use uh, bird shot if we didn't have hat and rounds. But there were times where I wasn't worried about ricochets, I wasn't worried about, you know, unknowns, non-combatants, hostages, things like that. And I just ran buckshot in my shotgun on my back and used it as a tertiary weapon system, breaching tool if need be. I uh, didn't do it very much, but um, I, that's pretty much my only experience with shotguns other than the, you know, plain Jane, normal civilian stuff. I did go through one tactical shotgun course way, way back in the day, um, but I never, never used it any of those skills. So anyway, I'm curious. I'm shotgun curious. I'm buckshot curious. How far back is the, are these things going to work? So again, starting off here at 25, let's just see how it goes. All right. Good to go. All right. Let's go ahead and aim it up. All right. Let's go see how she did. All right, guys, so that was 25 yards, you know, 18 and a half inch barrel, standard two, three quarter load, nine pellet buck. Uh, the buck was made by Winchester, if that helps you. So pretty even distribution uh, on the shots. I've only got six on the target that I can tell out of the nine. Oh no, seven, there's one down here at the bottom left. Uh, seven out of nine at 25 yards. And I've got three on the right, three on the left and uh, one high on the face, just off to the left side. But I mean, that was a center mass shot. And uh, I mean, that would probably put you down. No perfect A zone hits, but a lot of, uh, you know, some C hits, C zone hits. I mean, I definitely wouldn't want to get hit by this thing. But that was 25. Honestly, I was thinking it was going to do better. Let's, uh, let's back it up and see what happens. All right, guys, so that was 25. Uh, frankly, I was expecting it to be tighter than that. I'm glad we're doing this video. So we backed it up to 30. We're going to go ahead, take another shot, see where we end up. All right, 30 yards. Let's see how we did. All right, guys, so that was a 30-yard shot. Same shotgun. Same load. I've got five, six. Maybe that. Yeah, I think that's six. Barely off the left side on low. They got a six shot there. So five direct hits, one zinger just off to the side. But we've got a center mass hit and a head shot. So this is actually a more effective spread than at 25. But there's going to be variance 
you know, shotgun, nothing about shotguns is precise or exact unless you start really getting into the weeds. But, you know, what we're shooting, basic stuff, guys. Remington 870, standard barrel, standard two, three quarter lug, nine pellet, double op buck. And um, 30 yards, no problems. Let's get to 35. Did not expect 30 yards to outperform as far as uh, shot placement or the spread of the, uh, the load. But, uh, you know, that's why we're here. We're learning. So we're back here at 35. Let's see how it does. All right, let's check it out. All right, guys, 35 yards. And it looks like we've got three out of nine on there. We're down to one third effectiveness. But those three shots are you know, not great. We got one that's pretty much centered. I think that's still A zone, but the other two kind of cheated off to the right. But, uh, you know, we're landing. We landed three hits on a torso at 35. So we're starting to see, I think, the limitations of uh, the range on this thing, just in the standard configuration. Let's back it up and see if we can't do one more. All right. All right, guys, before we get to the next round, we want to thank CCW Save for sponsoring this video. If you do not have self-defense protection, go ahead and check them out in the description below. All right, guys, we're back here at 40. Think we can do it? Think we can land, some, land a pellet or two, or we're gonna give it a shot. I'm excited. The learn, let the learning continue. All right, 40. All right, guys, that was our 40 yard shot. Nothing changes from before, same gun, same shells. And I thought we had two on there, but it looks like we only have one. And again, it's slightly off to the left. All right, hits a hit. All right, guys, we're back here at 45. We uh, got one pellet on target at 40. Um, you know, these are not match sites by any means. They're ghost string sites designed for close quarters. Um, but, you know, they're working. So, let's see what we can do. All right, guys, 45 yards again. We got a single hit, so we're going to go back to 50. Let's ha! <laughs> All right, guys, we're back here at 50 yards. Big 5-0. Uh, rings the bell for uh, effective range, now that I'm thinking about it. But uh, let's go ahead and take a shot, see what we can get. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll take another one just for good measure, just to make sure. Mackerel. All right, guys, so that was 50 yards and we got two hits. You know, one pretty dead center, you know, right where I was aiming and then one um, just off to the left, but still a good hit. And uh, I felt good about that shot. And um, I'm, I'm impressed, I'm impressed. So I don't know, I guess we're going back to 55. All right, guys, so we're back here at 55. Uh, let's just see how far we, we can make this happen. <laughs> All right, guys, that was 55 yards. We did score one hit. It's slightly off to the right, slightly high. And I did feel like I pulled a little right on that one. We are, uh, exceeding the uh the intended range for these sites but you know we're gonna make it work because apparently we are <laughs> all right guys so we're back at 60 yards a little bit farther than i thought we were gonna get but uh you know the show must go on so let's go ahead and load up another shell here 
and see what we can do. I'm gonna go ahead and take a knee. Felt like I pulled, pulled a little on the right on that last one. So I'm gonna go ahead and I heard it! We don't hit! All right! Yeah, baby! All right, guys. So that was our 60-yard shot. I did take a knee on that one. Again, we got one high and right. You know, I'm doing my best with these sights. It's a big, thick front sight and a freaking rear aperture that you could probably drive a car through. But you know what? We're doing our best, and um, we scored a hit at 60, so you know what that means. We're taking it back. All right, guys, we're uh, back at 65 yards. We're actually uh, well into the parking area, but that's okay. We're the only ones out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up another round of double eye buck, nine pellets. And let's see what we can do. I'll go ahead and take a knee again. Yeah, baby. 65 and a ping. One ping only, please. All right, guys, so that was our 65 yard shot. I took it from the kneeling. Uh, and again, slightly low just on that right leading edge. We scored one hit. I've been noticing the hits that we've been getting at distance have been off to the right side. That might be a sighting issue. I'm not sure. They're not exactly adjustable. But um, a hit's a hit. So we're going to 70. All right, guys, we're back here at 70 yards. Got a fresh target, fresh coat of paint on that bad boy. And I'll go ahead, we're going to do it again, see what happens. 70 yards. No ping. All right, let's do one more. Let's do one more just to say we did. All right, guys, one more. That was our 70 yard shot with a miss. All right, that's two misses, 70 yards. All right, guys, so we took two shots at 70 yards, zero hits, uh, but we were able to get one at 65, you know, but honestly, one buckshot round randomly in the leg or thigh, you know, that is not good enough to stop a threat. So, you know, I would definitely not be trying to impl uh, implement a platform like this, you know, outside of 50 yards for any reason. Obviously, you know, the closer the better. They're designed for, you know, very close encounters, 25 yards and in. But I just wanted to know. I had to know. A guy I used to work for on his first Iraq deployment, he had a totally tricked out 870. He was a primary breacher for his troop, but he ran a uh, comped Hans Vang ported barrel on his, and he said he was able to keep dinner plate size patterns at about 100 yards. So, you know, you get what you pay for, do your research, you know, definitely look in to matching up the, the, the proper platform with the proper, you know, accoutrements, for lack of a better word, you know, to achieve whatever your primary application is gonna be. But for the standard, Plain Jane, you know, have a shotgun because it's a good idea to have a shotgun. You know, it's the right thing to do to have a shotgun. So that's why I have one. And I just wanted to know its limitations, its capabilities. So thanks for watching the video with me. Um, I learned something. I hope you did too. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that bell. We got a lot of content on this channel. We have a massive back catalog if you haven't checked that out yet. And I'll see you next time. This is Dor, out.